In this lesson, we're going to take a look at Open Implementation and Open Super Implementation. So this is available to us in the Navigate menu, and it's very useful when we have a method that we're using in our code and we want to quickly reference that method to see how does this method work or perhaps even make changes to it. So let's take a look at Password Data Editor. Here we have Get Passwords being declared within our Password Data Editor constructor. So when that happens, we might want to see, well, what's happening if I say pc.getPasswords? Well, what I can do is quickly go to the Navigate menu, and I can select Open Implementation. And then when I do that, it will take me directly to the password collection and show me the Get Passwords method. It will be highlighted so I know exactly where it starts, and I can see then my code and make any changes or review that code as I need to. What we'll note, however, is that when we're in an object such as Password Data Editor, we might want to find a super implementation. And if we had our get passwords still selected, well, get passwords is not implemented at the offset level, which is the super for password collection. And also, password data editor is a base class off of object without a super. So if I select navigate, open super implementations, it will tell us the super implementation of method password data editor does not exist. Essentially, there's no constructor call implemented at a higher level that this is overriding. Therefore, there's no super implementation. And in fact, if we go into Password Collections and select Get Passwords and select Open Super Implementation, again, we see the super implementation of method gets passwords does not exist. And that's correct because in Offset, which is the super for our class, here we have Offset, we'll note that there's no Get Passwords. In fact, all we have is Get Offset and Set Offset. So let's quickly add a method that needs to be overridden from Offset into Password Collection, the toString. So here at the bottom, let's simply go into our source and select Generate toString. We'll select just the fields and select OK and go ahead and save that. And then let's go back into Password Collection. Here again, let's just scroll down to the bottom. You can collapse the code if you'd like to make it a little easier to see. And then here we could select Source, Generate ToString. And here let's select, in addition to the fields, let's also get the ToString from our parent. Select OK. And here we see now we have ToString and it is implemented. It has the Password Collection and the ToString from our super class. And now if we select navigate to the super implementation, of course, toString is implemented in offset and so that we can see that taking place. So essentially, that wraps up our look at opening the implementation and opening the super implementation.